Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a general reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you currently at this time. See what message your angels and guides have for you. So if you're a cross watcher for Aries, please remember flip switch the energies rolls. Don't force messages. If this does not resonate, check out other placements. So I'm going to pull some Oracle and then I will clarify the message with Tarot. What is the energy surrounding Aries at this time? So everything is in alignment is what I'm getting there. So be bold, be brave, be confident, hold your vision in regards to some type of an outcome or wish fulfillment. It says adjustments are required, but in the reverse, conclusions are within reach to so hold your vision. I feel this is the validation that some of you may need in regards to the direction you're in or the energy that you're currently embodying, right? So just stay the course, continue to hold your visions. There may be some doubt. There may be some fears in regards to direction at this time, but there are things coming to light. Conclusions are within reach. So I'm going to dive deeper into this message with Tara. I'm going to do a six card spread to see if I can dive deeper into this message for you, Aries. Call upon Aries spirit guides, angels, their team to uh, protect the collective as I channel this message for their greatest, highest good. Show me the energy surrounding Aries at this time and what it is that they need to know. So I am going to do a six card spread Aries to see if I can dive deeper. There will be an extended for this video. If you're interested in that, you can find the link in the description box of the video. What is the energies surrounding Aries at this time? So this is the is this one wheel of the year is the deck so the anchor is judgment so the judgment is in full effect karma is playing out behind the scenes this is locked and loaded this is a, a done deal aries there's nothing left to do but just be be present in this judgment energy it's when things come to light. It's when what is meant to be comes to fruition. So there is alignment in regards to karmic debt, in regards to the outcomes that are required for your expansion is what I'm getting with that judgment card. Bottom of the deck, we have 10 of wands. So clearly you have walked away or you're walking away from a cycle that was very difficult. 10 of wands is Sagittarius energy. Doesn't mean you were dealing with Sagittarius, could be, could have it in your chart. But the Ten of Wands is when you're taking your, your stuff and you're moving on to something new, right? You're closing up the, um, you're, you're cutting cords, you're, you're closing ties, right? You're moving on to something new because this has caused too much burden, right? And you recognize that you're meant for something else, judgment. So you're trusting that the universe is taking care of what it needs to. Anything that may be falling away at this time, Aries, is for your greatest and highest good, right? It says conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Hold your vision, right? So be present in the moment and adjustments are required in the reverse. This is locked and loaded. Like I said, whatever energy, whatever it is that you're closing out that was very difficult, that is showing up, is in alignment with your purpose, with, with your bigger picture energy is what I feel, Aries. What is the um, challenge for Aries in regards to this energy spirit? What is the challenge that Aries is facing at this time? So we have a lot of sword energy popping out here. Um, certainly the nine of swords is very formidable, right? It's, it's fear. It's um, fear of the unknown, fear of more pain, fear of deception fear of lies, nine of swords, energy. So you are walking away, closing cycle from a situation person that caused you a lot of internal conflict, right? Nine of swords, energy is where you weren't yourself, right? You've had to let this go because it was affecting your mental health, your well-being in regards to some type of a cycle that you were in right where there was nothing you could do i feel that's something that you need to know there was nothing you could have done differently with that adjustments are required in the reverse to the nine of swords judgment right i feel that you were in a very difficult cycle to learn lessons right to grow to expand and i feel that you spent a lot of time beating yourself up internally in regards to how things could have been different 
but I think some of you need to know that there's nothing that you could have done differently to continue to hold your vision, know your value, your worth, be present in the moment. Don't let this energy be your end all be all nine of swords energy. Nine of swords, that's Gemini energy. You could be walking away from a Gemini, you could have Gemini in your chart, right? But this is divine intervention with the judgment card and the conclusions are in, within reach. So I do feel the worst is, is behind you. Now we do have the hermit in the reverse and the 10 of pentacles in the reverse in regards to the challenge. So the challenge is that you have taken a lot of um, the problems or a lot of the accountability on as your own the hermit in the reverse that's something that you could have been struggling with your whole life because the hermit is about enlightenment right it's about getting through our journeys in life and reaching the top of the mountain throughout all of our transgressions you know including all of our trials and tribulations but in the reverse so it's like it's it's validating a lesson that needs to be learned in regards to where you're investing everything so ten of pentacles energy ten of pentacles represents virgo but it's about happily ever after it's about stability it's about safety it's about where you're putting your energy time so you could have put your time and energy and focus on the wrong things and that has caused a lot of guilt a lot of shame a lot of pain is what I feel and it's keeping you from some type of expansion or enlightenment. So the challenge is moving in a new direction. You could have been very invested in a relationship, in a family, in a job, right? Take it how it resonates to your situation. But the challenge truly is changing your perspective in regards to how things have played out. Everything is happening in divine timing for your highest grace. Good with that judgment card, right? So it's about trusting that Whatever's falling away from you is for your greatest, highest good. The spirit is validating the fact that you have spent too much time beating yourself up. And it's important that you recognize that you are to move in a new direction, possibly towards an earth sign, towards enlightenment, Virgo energy with that hermit. But it's definitely validating that you weren't going in the right direction with the right people, the right situation, the right job. Take it how it resonates. But I do feel that things are going to level out. Things are happening for your greatest highs. Good adjustments are required, right? In the reverse. So bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords on the challenge, right? So it's about seeing something clearly now, changing perspective, going from the Nine of Swords to the King of Swords is major leap in regards to stability of the mind, right? It's seeing something clearly. The King of Swords, you can't bullshit the King of Swords. They don't spend time wasting um, thinking about what they could have done differently. They accept the situation. They stay very focused in the moment in regards to being sharp, in regards to being clear of mind. So it's important that you're doing that. That may be the remedy of your challenge to stay clear of mind. So possibly you want to avoid, I was drawn to the alcohol here in the 10 of pentacles, uh, changing your coping mechanisms, moving to healthier ways of you know, dealing with your stresses, dealing with pain, all of those things. I do feel um, eight of wands, there is movement towards clarity, Aries. So hold tight to that. Uh, just know that the universe is bringing validation. That will be um, something that you will see as you continue to move forward throughout the cycle, as you release it, right? Ten of wands energy. When you let this burden go, I feel there will be a clarity of mind with that king of swords Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is about momentum, Aries. So there is movement, whether you see it or not. So if you are spending too much time beating yourself up over things that you could have done differently, I don't think there's anything that you could have done differently. So it's important that you're holding your vision and your focus for what it is that you want through clarity of mind. So it's important that you stay um, focused and that you are staying clear, right? So avoid coping mechanisms that may make you cloudy, that may make you regress. There, It's important, I feel, that you have clarity of mind so you are able to see these validations as they present themselves, Aries, because they are coming into your energy, these validations with that King of Swords energy. There could be um, some finalizations in legal battles as well. The King of Swords sometimes can be legal, right? It's about having some finality in regards to legal battles in a very positive way. Everything is lining up as it should be. I feel there's been a lot of chaos for a period of time with that Nine of Swords, but that's almost over as well with the Ten of Swords. There is a player that is manipulative possibly around you that has caused you to pull back your energy. Could have affected finances as well. 
but just know that the judgment card being the anchor of the reading, it's just validating that there will be justice. The King of Swords is justice as well. So continue to hold your vision, Aries, is what I feel. Cheers, coffee. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Show me the recent past for Aries. What has Aries been dealing with in the recent past, Spirit? I'm taking that. Three of Cups. So you could have been dealing with someone that had other options. Three of Cups energy can be about one too many in a relationship. Um, it could be celebration also. What's the bottom of the deck? King of Pentacles. The recent past. So there could have been someone that you were connected to that you were wanting to grow with that was involved in third party. There could also be new relationships, connections, friendships that are being validated with that Three of Cups, King of Pentacles, because there is a good investment here in regards to the recent past. So possibly you have, you know, put your guard down, stop being in your head so much, you know, taking the time to go outward. Hermit energy can also be about being inward too much, being in your home too much, needing to get out, right? So Three of Cups is about celebration and King of Pentacles. So I feel in the past, you may have, you know, reached out to friends, um, experienced some joy, some good times, could be a celebration of a birth, something new, right? Could be is what I feel. But whatever it is that you have, um, you know, incorporated, whether that is third party into a relationship or it's meeting with friends, it is for your greatest, highest good, right? It is to put you on this path of expansion towards abundance. The King of Pentacles energy is abundant. Certainly it is. It's someone that's worked very hard for the things that they have, right? And I do feel that this abundance is coming in a different way, 10 of pentacles in the reverse, different than the way that you would have thought, right? But I do feel that there's a lot of abundant energy around you. There's validation for the friendships that you're having. There's validation for you getting out and having fun is what I'm getting here. Give me more on that three of cups, please. For the recent past, why is this three of cups here for Aries? Nine of pentacles. Yeah, so you did disconnect from someone, possibly that was introducing other options, right? There was someone that could have had other options um, because the Nine of Pentacles is independent energy. Nine of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. So spirit is validating the fact that you're better off on your own. You being alone is much better than being with someone that would entertain other options or that would put you in that Nine of Swords energy. There's judgment all about this. Right? So spirit is validating that there's more light, more abundance. There's a, a greater vibration in regards to your energy independently with that nine of pentacles. Right, You're putting your time and focus on yourself. You're making good investments. right, And you're, you're basically um, reaping the rewards of those time investments of time as well as these new friendships. Right now that you have walked away or released a potential right? Where there was a lack of um, communication could have been a lack of growth in regards to a relationship, commitment, business, right? However it resonates to you. Spirit is validating that there's more light in your independent energy. And I think that's something that you're starting to recognize and realize. Three of Wands, you no longer have expectation for the past. Three of Wands is Aries energy. Three of Wands in the upright is about expectation, right? Wishing upon a star and then waiting for your ships to come in. All those things. I feel like you're not doing that right now. You're just being present in the moment, holding your vision, putting your energy into yourself, right? Making better choices for yourself, eating better, um, exercising, being very mindful about where you're putting your time and energy. You're focused on having fun at this time, Aries. And I do feel that's being validated as abundant, right? Abundant in regards to the increase of your vibration. What is the energy that surrounds Aries that they are not aware of? What does Aries need to know about the energy surrounding them? Aries need to know about the energy surrounding them at this time. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So I do feel that we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You did definitely, you definitely had something occur that made you feel like, you know, you were in a really shitty place. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles. Something that you had invested in for a long period of time fell away, right? Something that I feel you were being breadcrumbed. You weren't being given what you truly deserved. You were settling for scraps from someone. And, and the universe is saying, no, that's not your season. That's not your reason, Aries. You have great purpose with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, 
right? So there was someone that was breadcrumbing you, someone that wasn't giving you what you deserved. So spirit is validating an increase in vibration in an independent way. The conclusions that you are needing are within reach. So like I said, if you are in legal battle, there is going to be a positive outcome. Continue to hold your vision and adjustments are required in the reverse. So I feel everything is in full effect. So validated that you were being read from, that you weren't getting your value and your worth from this situation, person, relationship, job. Take it as it resonates, right? Eight of swords, nine of swords. So whatever it is that you're walking away from closing out, it is the season to do so because you deserve more than what this person situation was giving you. Definitely there was breadcrumbing that was occurring here. Give me more on that six of pentacles for the energy surrounding areas that they're not aware of. I feel that there's a more abundant time coming in in this independent energy. We have princess of pentacles in the reverse, right? So you're still learning. There's still communication to come in regards to these conclusions, right? I do feel there's validation on the way. So you may receive some type of message. There's somebody watching you. There's somebody watching you, Aries. Empress energy could be on the Aries Taurus cusp. The Empress is Taurus energy. There's somebody watching you that finds you very attractive. Someone finds you very bountiful, right? This is someone that possibly took without giving in the situation. This is divine feminine energy. We have four of wands in the reverse. So I do feel that you're closing cycle, walking away from a home, relationship, um, situationship, contract, right? But this person that you're walking away from was not giving you what you deserve. There was a lot of illusions. There was moon energy. I'm picking up moon energy. This is someone that's watching you that finds you very attractive, right? But this is someone that you have broken free from. Four of Wands is Aries energy, right? Because of the burden, Ten of Wands. Again, it's too hard. Like, I don't feel life is supposed to be this hard. The relationships aren't supposed to be this difficult. Certainly, there is no balance when there's Six of Pentacles in the reverse, right? Someone's giving constantly and someone's taking constantly is what I feel. So there's validation for you changing the direction in regards to where you're investing your time and energy. I do feel that there's a positive outcome here. Um, validation for this independent energy that you're in. Validation for taking the time to have fun, make new connections. Just know that someone from your past that you've walked away from is spying on you. Page of Swords energy that represents Gemini. We've got a lot of sword energy here. So there's a lot of mind play going on. But I do feel that you just need to stay focused in the moment, right? Holding your vision. Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries, spirit? Three of Wands in the reverse. Could be another fire sign. Could be an Aries. I don't feel like the person that's coming in, you're aware of. I feel there's no expectation. Again, you're very focused on closing out something where there was a lack of investment, a lack of give and take. And I don't feel you're focused on anyone else at this time. I feel you are in this nine of uh, pentacles energy, making wise investments for yourself, taking the time to find joy within yourself in this new energy, right? There is someone watching you, certainly. In the extended, I will dive deeper into this person. But what spirit wants you to know is that there is no expectation here, right? So continue to not focus on others. The focus needs to stay on self, empress energy, right? You are the Empress Aries, divine feminine energy. The universe has chosen you for something, something very valuable to the collective, to the energy and vibration of the world. You have been chosen to birth something very beautiful, very light, right? So just know that whatever is meant for you is coming. Adjustments are required in the reverse. You've been chosen for something is what I'm getting here after being broken, but whatever has fallen away from you has fallen away for your greatest and highest good because the universe wants you in a different place, right? The universe wants you doing something else is what I'm getting here. We've got the death card in the reverse, the strength card in the reverse, and the magician. Someone from your past is putting a lot of thought and emphasis on you. So I feel in the extended, I will dive deeper into that message. What is the outcome for Aries in regards to the energies that are surrounding them at this time, spirit? What is the outcome here for Aries? Four of Wands and Princess of Swords. I feel the person from the past is coming back. How do I have this? That was Princess of Pentacles. So someone from your past that you are not in communication with, 
I feel there's going to be a positive outcome to that situation. You're showing up as being independent, finding happiness in new ways, investing in new things with no expectation, trusting in the universe. Conclusions are within reach, Aries. Hold your vision. There's nothing you need to do but be present in the moment. The person from the past is spying on you, right? Spying on you, missing you, thinking about the relationship, wanting to know what it is that you're doing. There's someone that's connecting to you from the past that's still very attracted to you. So we have Princess of Swords, in the reverse with the four of wands, that's Aries, Aquarius energy, bottom of the deck, two of cups. So whether there's someone from the past that misses you, wants to come back, or there's new energy of love coming towards you is what I feel. So in the extended, I will dive deeper into that energy, but this is what I have for you at this time, Aries, validation that is needed, holding your vision. There's nothing that you need to do other than be in this independent energy because there's conclusions coming in regards to painful endings is what I feel. Thank you for watching, Aries. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you have not done so. Take care. Bye.